Welcome to another episode of the Geotechnical Engineering Podcast. I'm your host, Jared Green, and today we're going to go on a global adventure. So hopefully you have your bags packed, put your seatbelt on, and let's get ready to go because we're going to embark on a whirlwind tour of the top master's programs in geotechnical engineering from around the world. From earthquake-resistant marvels in Japan to sustainable infrastructural solutions in the Netherlands, we're going to cover the unique strengths and conditions and considerations each of these locations. So whether you're a rock star undergraduate ready to level up your career or a seasoned professional seeking to specialize, this episode is your passport to a world of opportunity. So buckle up, get ready to explore the exciting world of international geotechnical engineering education. But before we get started, we'd like to take a moment to recognize our sponsor for today's episode, that being Tensar, a division of CMC. Check out Tensar Plus the award-winning design software for construction professionals to design with geosynthetics and calculate their value on projects. Tensar Plus is simple to use with a powerful engineering system at its core. It leverages our decades of research and experience with soils all over the world, so you can count on your solutions working the first time, even in the most difficult conditions. Whether you're designing a crane pad or need to build a temporary road over muck, the cost, time, and carbon savings can be calculated Making comparison with alternatives simple. Specs, reports, and product data can be generated for your design. And training resources, research, and our third-party expert reviews are all provided conveniently in the software if needed. Usable both online and offline, the app is available in browser and on all major mobile platforms. Whatever you're working on, Tensar Plus is your toolbox for success. Starting in the United States, renowned for emphasizing research and innovation in geotechnical engineering education, the University of California, Berkeley, the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, Georgia Institute of Technology, and the University of Texas at Austin lead the field. These institutions are celebrated for their cutting edge programs, extensive research, facilities, and robust industry connections. However, the high cost of education and living expenses, along with competitive admission processes, could pose a challenge for some students. Next, let's look at the United Kingdom. Across the pond, the United Kingdom blends tradition with modern living. In institutions like Imperial College in London and University of Cambridge, the pros involve shorter master's program durations and a strong theoretical foundation with practical experiences. However, the policies for post-study work visas and also the high cost of living, especially in London, may be something that needs to be considered for prospective students. Let's take a look down under. Australia prioritizes sustainability and climate change impacts on infrastructure. The University of New South Wales and University of Western Australia lead in these areas. Pros include a vibrant international community and post-study work opportunities. Yet the relatively high cost of living and tuition fees may factor into the decision-making process for some students. Heading north from where I'm sitting, uh, we'll look at Canada. Canada is known for its diverse and welcoming environment. The University of British Columbia and the University of Alberta shine in geotechnical engineering. Pros include high quality education with lower tuition fees and favorable policies for international students. However, adjusting to the cold climate and competition for top programs could be a challenge. In Ireland, rapidly developing infrastructure is reflected in programs at Trinity College Dublin, University of Dublin, and University College Dublin. Pros include a focus on innovative engineering solutions, a friendly English-speaking environment, and post-study work visas. Limited institutions offering specialized programs and potentially high living costs are considerations. Japan, a country where tradition meets innovation, excels in the field of geotechnical engineering with a focus primarily upon earthquake resistance and environmental sustainability. Leading universities like Kyoto University and University of Tokyo offer advanced research opportunities and collaborations with industry giants 
However, the language barrier and distinct cultural settings may require adjustments for some international students. In China, rapid urbanization and infrastructure development have propelled geotechnical engineering to new heights. Institutions like Xinhai University and China University of Mining and Technology are at the forefront offering programs that blend traditional engineering principles with modern technological advancements. The pros include a large number of research projects and government investments in infrastructure. Potential challenges for international students include navigating the visa process and adapting to the local educational system. The Netherlands, with its unique challenges related to water management and land reclamation, places a strong emphasis on geotechnical engineering. Universities like Delft University of Technology and Utrecht University stand out for their research in sustainable and innovative geotechnical solutions. International students might find the open, collaborative academic environment and English taught programs appealing, though they should be mindful of the country's high living expenses. Switzerland, known for its precision engineering and high quality education systems, offers exceptional programs in geotechnical engineering at institutions like Swiss Federal Institute of Technology Zurich and Federal Institute of Technology Lusuane. These universities are celebrated for their rigorous academic standards, cutting edge research, and strong ties with the engineering industry. Prospective students can look forward to a multilingual and multicultural academic setting though the cost of living and tuition fees in Switzerland are among the highest in the world. Singapore, a global hub for innovation and technology, has rapidly advanced in geotechnical engineering. The Nanyang Technological University and National University of Singapore stand out for their research-intensive programs focusing on urban infrastructure resilience and sustainable engineering solutions. Students benefit from a strong academic framework industry partnerships, and a strategic location in Asia. Challenges may include the competitive nature of programs and the cost of living in Singapore, but the country's commitment to education and research excellence make it an attractive destination for geotechnical engineering studies. Now let's turn our attention to the continent of Africa and also take a look at regions within Latin America. In Africa, Countries like South Africa and Nigeria have emerging engineering programs that focus on addressing infrastructure challenges specific to the region, such as water resource management and sustainable development. Universities like the University of Cape Town and the University of Lagos are at the forefront of these efforts, offering interdisciplinary programs that blend geotechnical engineering with environmental science and civil engineering. Similarly, in Latin America, Countries like Brazil and Mexico are investing in geotechnical engineering education to support their growing infrastructure needs, such as the University of Sao Paulo and the National Autonomous University of Mexico offer robust programs that emphasize the practical application of geotechnical principles in areas like transportation, energy, and urban development. While navigating the educational landscape in Africa, and also in Latin America may come with its challenges, including funding constraints, students who choose to study in these regions can gain valuable insights into geotechnical engineering within the context of developing economies and diverse environmental conditions. When choosing where to pursue your master's in geotechnical engineering, consider academic aspects, practical experiences, support for international students, cost of living, and postgraduate opportunities. Each university presents unique advantages and challenges, and the best choice depends on your individual goals. Keep in mind that the cost can fluctuate, so check in the universities and colleges' websites directly for the latest tuition fees and estimated living expenses would be a good idea. Visa regulations also can change, so it's important to refer to the official government websites for the most recent information. By no means is this a conclusive list. Uh, really, it's gonna come down to you and what it is you're looking for in order to get your master's degree. Uh, we do stress that when you have an undergraduate degree in civil engineering with a focus in geotechnical, after you work for some time, you're gonna see that you really do need to go back and get that master's degree. So hopefully this episode gave you some things to consider if you're considering going back. I know we did focus in on costs a lot just because it's a big concern for students. 
And a number of universities do have fellowships, scholarships, research opportunities, and grants that help to subsidize the cost for the educational pursuits. So definitely uh, reach out to professors and things of that sort when you're looking for your school. But uh, in in conclusion, the journey to pursue a master's in geotechnical engineering is a voyage of crucial decisions from selecting the right country to choosing a university that aligns with your personal aspirations. Each step shapes your educational experience. Now remember, the foundation that you build during your master's program will support your career for years and years to come. So safe travels on your educational journey, and we hope that we provided you some content that's gonna be helpful on making that decision. I hope you enjoyed the episode today. We would love to hear your feedback, comments, and or questions. Please feel free to go to geotechnicalengineeringpodcast.com where you'll find a summary of the key points discussed in today's episode, as well as links to any of the resources, websites, or books mentioned during this episode. Until next time, I wish you the very best in all of your geotechnical engineering endeavors. Peace.